Hello there, I am Dranko with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we got uh, we beat the third Elite Four member, Flint, Master of Fire Type Pokemon. In this part, we're going to take on the fourth and final member of the Elite Four, Lucian, the Master of Psychic Type Pokemon. I have Drago up front because he has Crunch. So, yeah, let's take on uh, Lucian. Let's talk to him. Uh, you timed your arrival well. I just, I've finished, I just, I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian, I'm the user of uh, psychic type Pokemon. I must said fire, jeez. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the week four. I'm afraid I will have to go all against you to live up to that reputation. Let's do this, Lucian. Let's go. I remember Lucian from the anime. He was pretty cool. He had a bronze on. He has a bronze on his team like me. And all the Elite Four members have five Pokemon, and I can six Pokemon, so I have one more Pokemon than all of them. So Mr. Mime, um, the only reason I didn't start out with either, you know, Karen or um Jetta on this for this battle was because this Mr. Mime knows uh, Thunderbolt. And if if um I, cause I sent out Drago, it's he's half ground type Pokemon, so you know Thunderbolt won't even do um, when I even affect Drago because it's half ground type, so that's cool. That's why I kind of went with that situation. I oh, attack first, awesome. This thing's level 59, so it's gonna probably take a two hits to faint it, honestly. Oh, wait, maybe okay, you just fainted at one hit, awesome. Way to go, Drago. Then Mr. Mommy goes down, then nice. Okay, what's his next Pokemon? Metacham, okay. Um, let's switch to uh, Karen for that. I'm gonna try to f an Aerials to see how much that does. Metachams aren't something new, really. I mean, Candy's used one, and we've seen them a couple in the wild, especially in Victory Road. Also, if you've been training on Victory Road for the Pokemon League, like I have. So, it's level 60, though. It's, oh, it has Ice Punch. Oh no. It's covering its weaknesses. Okay, Karen, just stay in there. Stand strong, Karen. No, it's gotta be a critical hit, man. It's not even a critical hit. Wow. Okay, at least I get the Aerial Ace off, Karen does. I don't think this will faint it though, because Aerial Ace only have 60 power. So, yeah, well, it put in red health. So, um, he's gonna heal, so I'm gonna heal. I'm pretty sure he's gonna heal, so I'm gonna heal. He's in the Hyper Potion, yeah. I oh mean, the battle system's so slow. It took like five full seconds to totally wait for Karen's HP bar to get restored. And it's the same for Metacham, except for maybe it took three or four seconds. I don't know. Let's go for the uh, Night Slash first. Thunder Punch, of course. And Thunder Punch too, that's just great. Okay, then go for the Night Slash. Ah, uh, he's probably faster than me, but I'm probably just gonna let Karen take the hit, I guess. Which kinda stinks, but um, I, I need a free switch out anyway. So Karen unfortunately goes down. Yeah, um, let's go with um... I guess we could go for Drago again and use like Earthquake or something. This Metacham is probably the hardest thing that's gonna be on the, to knock to knock out on his team, other than the Bronze on too. That's coming up. Let's go for the Earthquake. See how much that does. You know, Lucian is the toughest of the Elite Four, so I'm actually kind of struggling with him now because his level's kind of caught up to mine by this point. You know, so he goes to Earthquake. It one KO, uh, not one KOs. It knocks out Metacham, so That's good. Use Alkazam. Um, I guess I can switch to Karen. No, Karen's fainted. I forgot. I'm gonna stay in. Drago's gonna stay in. He's on a roll. Drago's gonna stay in. Yeah. This thing's level 60. I know that it was Energy Ball and Psychic in Future Sight, probably, but I forget what his last move was. Let's get his Energy Ball. That's a Grass type move. Hopefully, this doesn't, doesn't do too much damage to Drago. Oh man, this did more than I expected, more than I thought it would do. 
But here it goes to crunch, it's level 60. Um, it's, let's see if it survives. Oh no, it doesn't survive, cool. The Alakazam goes down then. So I think all that's left is a bronze on. Or no, giraffe again and the bronze on. My bad, sorry game. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Till it's too late. Let's go for the crunch then. Do I go as faster than it, which is awesome. This thing is level 59 by the way. Let's see if this one it kills it, nice. Uh, nope it doesn't, okay. It's okay though. Be a shadow ball, okay. Hopefully Drago can take that. Yeah. Oh, it's special defense is lowered now, no. Um, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Claw. You're gonna heal up once you- yeah I knew it. Of course you are, Lucian, you and your four stories. Okay, fine. Of course Dragon Claw fainted it. Oh, it's a critical hit. That explains it. Okay. Wrong song. Okay. I'm gonna switch to uh, Inferno. And I'm gonna assume Inferno knows. Um, well, I'm gonna assume Inferno. I'm gonna assume this Bronzon has Levitate, not Heatproof. Uh, well, the, all my playthroughs of this game, he always has Levitate for his Bronze Song. So, yeah. I wanna see what, how much damage it does if I do a Foil Blitz, actually. How much damage will this do? level 63 it's one level higher than inferno my strong my highest level pokemon oh man it didn't oh it's gonna activate citrus berry though that's good yes cool it's all gonna work out now if i can just survive whatever this thing's gonna throw on me like a psychic or something yeah i knew it okay so inferno might faint here but that's okay it's all good yeah this Brong is on is tough. Let's go to Jetta then. Let's go for the, uh, not Crunch, but Surf. I don't know if this will put it in the red, so I'm just hoping I'll knock it out. I'm only one level, Jetta's only one level below it. No, are you kidding me? It survived by like one hit point. Please don't use another forest story. I mean, it's not the end of, well, it's kind of the end of the world if you use a forest story. Let's go for the crunch then. Okay, good, you didn't use a healing item, good. Take out the bronze on though. Nice. That thing was about to worry me if it got too sticky of a situation, you know? We defeated a whip for evolution. I see. You get, you getting past the three others was no fluke. Your power is real, or for real. Yeah. I like how my name doubles. Awesome. Congratulations, you did not beat in the Elite Four. Yeah, I'm the Pokemon Champion. I'm I'm a Pokemon Master. However, that doesn't mean you've done with the Pokemon League. Oh, false advertising. It's supposed it's supposed to call the it's supposed to be called Elite Four and the Champion, but in the name it's just Elite Four. <laughs> yeah, this there remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the door to your final battle. Before I do that, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, of course. Use the Revive on Karen. Use the Revive on Inferno. Just cause I want everyone to be fully healed for this next battle. Cause it's very important. So let's use a Super Potion on Jetta. And let's use Hyper Potions on Inferno and Karen on all of them. I could have used a Moon Milk there because I only need to destroy 91 hit points, but that's okay. There we go, and the last po Pokemon that needs to be full healed is Karen. So he goes, he has a super, he has a hyper potion for you, Karen. Now, uh, um, put a Pokemon that has a really, um, really, um, good, you know, attack that's really powerful up front. For me, I'm gonna stick with Drago being up front. So, yeah. 
Let's go into the next room. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond video walkthrough like part. And the next part, we'll take on the champion of the Elite Four, or Pokemon League, I should say. And, uh, yeah, and, this, uh, and then our main journey will come to an end, sadly. So this is what I go again. Oh, I'd like to mention again, goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond video walkthrough guide.